Okay, today we're going to take a look at importing AVCHD footage into Final Cut Pro X and um, some of the processes for archiving uh, the footage um, after you get it off your camera or card. So um, uh, I have Final Cut open here and uh, I have a project uh, set up. But uh, first we're going to go to the desktop and check out the card. I inserted my SD card into my laptop and you can see it says Canon on it. Uh, and in that there's something called the private folder and this is essentially a big bundle of all the videos um, that you shot on your camera. So if I double click on this you see it, it opens up and I can see the different clips that I shot. And uh, it does that for you know, convenience I guess to, to keep everything in one place. Now AVC is really picky, especially um, Final Cut and other editing programs are really picky about how they deal with AVC HD footage. You need to keep the file structure um, together. A lot of times people will um, you know, try to try to try to take these uh, little video clips, like you know, um, the MTS files, and try to edit those directly. Um, the best way to actually do this is to take the entire private folder and archive that um, somewhere on your either computer or on your external disk. So I'm just going to do that um, right away. Um, in my movies folder, I have you know a folder called projects, and I'll. Um, create uh, a test project. So this would be like, you know, whatever project you're working on. Um, after this, I'll, you know, create a, uh, uh, an archive. So I'll say like raw footage, and then I'll take that private folder and drag that right into my raw footage. So this essentially archives the card in its entirety for you, which is a good thing to do. Then you don't have to work directly off a card, which is sometimes unstable or, um, you know, it, it, it backs it up for you as well. So that's going to take just a second to copy. Uh, and like I said, this could be also on like an external drive or anything like that. I just have it on my laptop right now. Um, so then for, for other cards, you have like, um, you know, camera one, camera two, and you take this pri these private folders uh, and put them into these camera one and two. Now this file does need to remain um, named private. Uh, so you do need to, to separate them with different folders. So if you have a second card, it needs to be under a different folder, third folder, etc. Now that we have this archived on our laptop, we're going to go back to Final Cut. And the way to import in Final Cut is through this, this little icon down in the middle left here, uh, Import Media. It's also Command-I is the shortcut. So if I click on that, you're going to see a couple things show up. Um, you're going to see the card appear up here in the left. Um, so I could, I could, you know, pull directly from my card um, by selecting these clips and then hitting import, and that would bring the files into my event. Um, Final Cut does copy ABC HD footage um, to the event, so um, you'll have two copies, which is probably a good thing. Now, I like to go from my archive, um, after I've archived the cards, because sometimes I have more than one card. I have maybe four, card, four cards or six cards, and it kind of takes a long time to do it. So, to get to that archive, I'll click on Macintosh SSD or an external disk over here in the Devices tab. Um, you know, go into my users and my stuff, and it's under Movies. Bring this up a little bit so you can see a little better. And here's Projects, okay. Test Project. Open that up, open up raw footage, and then I have my card archives here that we copied a second ago. So if I open that folder, camera one, you'll see that Final Cut will begin to open that up and the clips will become available. Um, you can also double click on this and, and, and change it so that you can see all the clips. So this is actually coming off of my hard disk. Copy the footage um, and I can import from here. Now to archive cards, you, you can archive them in the way that I, I showed earlier by copying to the, uh, to the desktop. Uh, or to your, to your computer. Um, the other way to do that is um, to go down here and click on your card on the left hand side here and then go down here and say create archive um, and we'll create, you know, we'll say like video shoots, whatever um, and make it on the SSD. If I click OK that will make a camera archive. Now I'm not crazy about this because there's no real good way for Final Cut to organize these things. It just creates a real long list of all your card archives on the left-hand side here. And basically what that does is actually um, 
create a folder on your disk called Final Cut Camera Archives, and they would just you know populate in this in in this folder here called Final Cut Camera Archives. Now there's nothing different about this than what I just created. If I actually um, we open this to show package contents. You'll see it still has that, fi that, that private folder inside it, as well as a little data file to tell Final Cut that's an archive. But there's really no difference. Um, I prefer to, to manually archive my projects um, just by copying the card structures through folders that I, that I create. I find it more convenient and, and intuitive, but uh, it really is your own call. So there's basically two ways to do it. You can import directly from the card um, through this um, through this uh, import button here on the left, um, or you can come from your camera archive. Also, that's another option. Um, but like I said, I like to go from from my folder that I've archived it to, or external disk. Open up the folder, get my clips import them to my project. It will copy the clip again, so you'll have two copies. You'll have your master copy in the archive, and you'll have, also have a copy um, that goes into your um, Final Cut events folder under the test event. It'll be in the original media. It's a copy. Um, so that's kind of the basics of, of import and Final Cut. Um, let's keep those file structures intact, uh, named correctly. Uh, you'll see there's a couple ways to do things. Just use the one that works uh, the best for you. And if you have any questions, please uh, comment on the video and I'll try to help you out.